I bought another ant colony online and you won't believe what happened. I received another ant colony. Amazing. Always be careful when you're using a knife. As you can see, I'm a professional, so I'm always careful. Let's see what we got here. I don't know why I'm showing you this, because this is boring as hell. Well, I do know. This video needs to be longer so I can collect that sweet ad revenue. Hey, at least I'm honest. In this little bag should be an ant colony. And there it is. Almost 40 seconds in the video and all you have seen is unboxing. So now it's time for some more unboxing. Or unpapering or whatever you call this. Unpacking. That, that's the word. Don't worry, later in this video I'm gonna make a terrarium and move the ants in. And the ants are going to do some cool stuff. I promise. This is a nest area, but I can't use this just yet. The colony is still too small for this. They would store their garbage in their spare rooms. And this can start to mold. And mold, not good. No mold, good. And this is what they call... The arena. That makes it sound that the ants are going to participate in the Hunger Games. I know you've waited a long time, so now it's finally time to check on the ants. These are Messor Barbarus, a species of harvester ant. And in case you're wondering, the queen is the big one. This is a species that lives in the warmer areas of southern Europe. Now, before I can do anything else... I'm sorry, I can't help myself. They also sent some sugar and honey. And some fruit flies. And now it's time to start on the terrarium. First, I'm gonna put in the connection tube the ants are going to use to get into the arena. I know myself, if I do this after I build the terrarium, I'm gonna F it up. Like they say, self-knowledge is the beginning of all wisdom. The tube doesn't have to be this long, and this end is going to be connected to the test tube. I'm heating up the plastic, so it's easier to bend a bit. I'm a professional when it comes to playing with fire, so don't try this at home. I'm a professional when it comes to shoving things into tiny holes, so don't try this at home. And this is going to go in the test tube after I build a terrarium. Every terrarium build starts with Bodengrund. I know there are easier ways of doing this, but how else would I show off my tiny shovel? Okay, you've seen it. Let's just put it in. <sighs> That's what she said. I'm spraying it with only a little bit of water, because these ants live in dry areas. I can use this flat rock as a table for their food. Adding another rock. I know this rock is amazing and it does a lot for the terrarium, but I still feel like there's missing something else. But what? I think I've got it. Another rock. Yeah, that does it. Don't worry, the terrarium is almost finished and then it's time to move in the ants. Now, since I don't take sponsors, I think I'm allowed to promote this for 5 seconds. That is a lot of perks, but is it worth it? Probably not. Now let's get back to the video. This is a tube of sugar water, and because I'm strong, I can open it easily. This is a tube of sugar water, and because I'm strong, I can open it easily. First try. So ants usually need two things, sugar and proteins, and this is their source of sugar. I think even your screen is starting to shake. For proteins I'm giving them fruit flies. I know that ones would be better, but I wanted to see if the ants would hunt. At least the fruit fly is already loving the sugar. That is not for you buddy. So I think it's time to connect the ants and see what they will do. They look a bit scared, but I hope they settle in soon. I'm connecting their tube, and then they will be able to explore the arena. Just making sure it's completely in there, so they can't escape. The first ants were getting out of the nest pretty fast. But they are still a bit hesitant. Only Bob here dares to move further. One small step for ant, one giant leap for ant kind. Well, she explored the arena. Kind of. Time to report back to the colony. More and more ants were coming out and were going into the arena. Each ant was getting its own job description. 
and this one drew the short straw and had to take out the trash. I would rather have this one's job, although she has to share this food with the rest of the colony, mouth to mouth, or anus to mouth. I guess it was anus to mouth. Inside the nest they were busy moving some stuff, so I think it's time to give them some privacy. Ants prefer a dark nest, so this way they will be more comfortable. Keep watching, the ants are still going to do some pretty smart stuff that make me feel stupid. Since the nest was safe now, they could start working in the arena. I saw this one grab some sand and was wondering what it was doing. Besides struggling a lot, that is. Apparently they are covering the nest entrance, that is pretty smart, but not the very smart thing I was referring to. Yeah, the smaller piece was already difficult to carry, why not take a bigger one? Don't worry, Bob doesn't have to do all the work alone, she got some help. Teamwork makes a dream work, I guess. Although, this one was thinking, F that, that is far enough, someone else can carry it. So Bob here took it the rest of the way. Leave a like for Bob's artwork, she's the real MVP. But of course, after all that hard lifting, the ants need some proteins. For the gains. So I'm giving them a cricket I paid for with actual money. And do you think the ants say thank you? No, they smell it a bit and then decide it's not good enough for their taste. So then I decided to give them a free mosquito. <sighs> yeah, of course. At this point I'm just glad they accepted food. The ant makes it look easy. This is like a human dragging a cow like it's nothing. Some other ants came to check if they needed to do something, but she's got it. It was when I gave the ants a fly, I realized I'm probably dumber than them. The ants are trying to drag the fly into the tube, and they are smart enough to know that they have to move the sand out of the way to get the fly through. I think that is pretty amazing for an insect. Yeah, the day that you realize you're probably dumber than an ant is not a great day. I let them work a bit longer and when I came back the fly was gone, so they succeeded. These ants are called harvester ants because they harvest. They harvest seeds and store them at different places and that is what makes these ants smarter than me because they store their seeds in the end of the tube and the end of the nest like you see here and that is away from the water. They do this so the seeds don't germinate and destroy the nest. I'm gonna be honest, I would not have thought about that. Now I'm hoping the colony grows fast, so we can move them in this bigger nest area. Like always, don't click off yet please, click on the video in the end screen, that would help me a lot. First, I wanna thank all patrons and everyone that watched, thank you. I'm going for 69 patrons, just a random number. Now I think you'll like this video next, thank you.